Compounding sterile preparations requires a pristine work area. Compounding personnel must clean and disinfect primary engineering controls. Some facility cleaning may be done by trained housekeeping personnel, but compounding personnel must know how to clean and disinfect every surface of the sterile compounding area. Let's distinguish between cleaning and disinfecting. Cleaning removes visible solids or soiling before disinfecting. After cleaning, disinfecting removes microbial contamination. Primary engineering controls must be cleaned and disinfected. At the beginning of each shift, before each batch, at least every 30 minutes during compounding, and when surfaces are visibly soiled, also when surface contamination is known or even suspected. To clean an area, remove items, then clean surfaces by removing loose material and any residue from spills. For water-soluble residue, use sterile water to clean the surface. After cleaning, wipe the surface with sterile 70% isopropyl alcohol or a similar residue-free disinfecting agent. Allow time for the disinfecting agent to dry before resuming compounding. Counters and other easy-to-clean surfaces must be cleaned daily. Trash should be removed at least daily or when bins are full. Cleaning should be done carefully with minimal movement so air quality is not compromised. Floors in the buffer area, anti-area, and segregated compounding area must be mopped daily with a cleaning and disinfecting agent and never during aseptic operations. Mops, wipes, sponges, and other cleaning materials must be non-shedding and dedicated for use only in the sterile compounding area. Cleaning materials cannot be removed from the area except for disposal. Cleaning starts in the cleanest area and then moves outward, so if the same mop is used to clean both the buffer and anti-areas, then the buffer area is mopped first and then the anti-area. Ideally, all cleaning materials are disposable and discarded after one use. Activities which generate particles, including removing of supplies from cardboard boxes, should never be performed in a buffer area, anti-area, or segregated compounding area. These items should be unpacked and placed into plastic bins outside these areas. Wipe all supplies and equipment removed from shipping cartons with a suitable disinfecting agent. Sterile supplies and sealed pouches remain in the pouches until the contents are taken into the primary engineering control. Walls and ceilings must be cleaned monthly. Storage shelving should be cleaned at least monthly, removing every item and cleaning the shelves thoroughly before returning items to their bins.